Hello, we already know how to edit a record. Now we may want to know how to delete a record. Now we just need to add another button here. Now for every delete action, we always need to confirm this once the user deleted it, they cannot roll back. So if we just show a confirm window. And then we forward to the action. We need to reuse this one, so I will just declare a variable here, so the code will be shorter. When we delete the record, we will go back to the user list, so I just copy this one over in case there is some error. And then now, I will create the action for deleting the data. If this record doesn't exist, write down some error. Okay, by the way, I will change the code. So instead of one, I can just simply this way. similar for this one if this one happens and then I just write down here username doesn't exist Otherwise, I will delete the user and just inform successfully. And we should move to the list. Is there no data to display there? Okay, so we need to create the method here. From user. Just um, check if any error we always can fix that as usual. Go ahead and delete this one. Oops, and let's go and check. Yeah. yeah, because we don't set any ID for the username. Just the code here, we get the value from ID. Refresh and try again. Okay, did it use it successfully, but I think we lose this one. We need to add the code to select the list again. Go to and 
with the list. Okay, now we clean and view and try to run again. Okay, now try again. I want to add a new user here. Save. Come back to the list. Go in detail. I want to delete this one. Yes. Okay. And now I want to merge here because I don't know whether the record is deleted or not. I need to go here and check. Okay, so it should be good. But I need to improve that one again. Save back. And I go to the code. And then I know that um, here we always reset the message. So I will get this one by this way. If like any previous action that return a value for this one, we will merge this one with the new one. So message equal to this message in class, which is you this way. Now clean and do and try again. Okay. Did it. Here you see that we delete that one and then we come with two record. Okay, now I will test the case that we may see some error. And now we delete that record before the user list. Delete that one. And now we delete here. Yes. No error. Nothing. Let me go and check. Okay, because we the error will be reset here. So we do a similar thing here. Even never show the error here so I just simply set this one equal to this one error we need to combine a similar thing to the above okay clean and view see that we have the error here right okay that's all for today in the next video i may show you how to delete multiple records from here we add some checkbox and then we delete all of them with a check one okay thanks for watching